Good morning, boys and girls. It's good to see you again today. And today at Epiphany, it's Reformation Sunday. Reformation Sunday is the day that we remember Martin Luther and celebrate all that he's done for God's church. And today I brought a book with me to teach us a little bit about Martin Luther. The book is called The Life of Martin Luther. And there's Luther standing right there at the door of the church. We open up the book and the story pops on out for us. It says, many years ago, there lived a young man named Martin Luther. Young Martin was studying to be a lawyer, but one day he got caught in a terrible storm. He was so afraid that he promised God he would become a monk if he escaped the storm. The storm died down and Martin Luther kept his promise. And you can see Martin right there in the middle and that storm all around him. It was pretty scary. Martin Luther devoted his life to God. He began studying the Bible where he read for himself what it said about having faith in Jesus. In his reading, Martin discovered the very good news that we are saved by faith. And there's Martin right in the middle reading his Bible. Martin Luther didn't like what the church was teaching about faith and good works. He especially didn't like the teaching that Christians could go to heaven faster by paying money to the church. So he wrote down 95 theses explaining his disagreements, and then he shared them with others to read. And you can see him right there in the middle. He has his list of 95 things that he thought weren't the same as what the Bible was teaching. Not everyone agreed with Martin Luther's ideas. They were so mad, they brought him before the Holy Roman Emperor and asked Martin to take back everything he said. But he refused and he stood by his beliefs. Martin Luther's life was in danger. On the way to his home, the carriage he was riding in was surrounded by riders. Were they enemies? Nope, the riders were friends. They had come to take Martin away to a castle where he would be safe. And you can see Martin riding in the, castle, in the carriage and them coming to save him. Martin Luther kept writing his ideas about God, grace, and faith. His writings were printed and spread far and wide. He even translated the Bible into German so that everyday people could, in his country could read it and think about it for themselves. And there he is with the printing press, writing, translating the Bible so that everybody could read it. Martin Luther inspired the Reformation in the church. He taught us that we are saved by God's love and grace alone, and not by anything that we do. And that's very good news, and that's why we celebrate today and remember Martin Luther and all he did. Will you pray with me? Dear God, Thank you for loving us and sending Jesus so that we could be your children. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, bye, boys and girls. We'll see you next time.